the Turquoise Mountain. It's the home of Turquoise Girl and also of Yellow Corn Boy. And it was built by one of their great mythical figures named First Man. And he pinned it to the earth with a stone knife to keep it from flying away. And he assigned uh, some of the spirits to live there. So this, this country, it looks empty. And as far as human occupation is concerned, it is empty, but it's full of mythology and full of people who love it. And I'm one of them. Well, this landscape is really part of the story. Uh, who would live out here? Not people that are wanting to get rich or raise a lot of cattle or raise a lot of corn or raise a lot of cotton. They enjoy the silence, they enjoy the empty spaces, they enjoy the beauty of it. And uh, if you're not looking for green, which is the color of money, you see most of everything else. Pretty much everything I write, every time I'm digging into the Navajo culture, every time the plot gives me a chance to make my readers take a look at it, this, the Navajos are held together by a, a value system that is very closely tied to the mountains and the, the silences and the empty places and the, the beauty they see around them. Book start, that's important, where, the, where, where you start a book. And, for, and I've got a whole file of first chapters which never made it. In other words, and false start. And now, before I actually sit down and start writing them, I, 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 I think, how do I want to get into this? I've never been in to outline anything, start with, never. I used to try endlessly, thinking you need to know where you're going, but I just have some basic ideas. The one I'm in right now, I'm on page 177 this morning when I quit writing. I don't know yet how it's going to end. I'm going to have to have one of these people killed. I keep changing how he's going to be killed, and then I got, and then I don't know exactly what's going to happen next. I'm writing for two people. One of them is myself. I got to like it or I, do, I quit. I get disgusted with it and I quit. And the other one is, is some homogenized reader that I think is a, probably a better educated than I am, probably higher IQ test. One thing I know more about than he does is this plot. See, what's going on here? And I, and I can see the landscape and he can't. I'm trying to uh, not just move the plot along, but make sure the reader understands why people are motivated to do what they're doing. 